Welcome to Lucy Landgrab channel. Today we're going to be redesigning Penny's apartment because we all know Penny to be a very classy lady with a lot of style. She's an online A-lister, I think that's level eight in the social media career and her apartment looks like this. She's got children's pictures on the wall. And her kitchen is disastrous. There's only one chair at the table in her kitchen. So today we are going to give her a complete makeover and give her her dream apartment. So there were a few things I wanted to achieve with this renovation, including making it a really bright space because I feel like she is someone who's really into different colors. And also with her being in social media, I feel like she would have made her money slowly and would have collected a lot of eclectic furniture that didn't quite match. So I tried to lean into that a little bit. I made her a little social media nook where she would be able to work on her computer with an extra monitor and then I designed the background of it to um, look a little bit alike Little Sims D's uh, set up with her uh, cubed bookcase behind where she records. This was a really nice space to design because it kind of just made itself like everything just felt like it fit into place. Meanwhile I was not happy with that wallpaper that I chose so ended up changing that later on in the build. Somewhere along the line of me uh, making this build, I decided that Penny is totally that person who's like a plant mom. Like she's not, she doesn't have a pet, she doesn't have a cat or a dog, she has just an obscene amount of plants. Also while we're looking at this hallway, I just love a lot of the shelving units that we got with Eco Lifestyle. They add so much to a room that I think a lot of the other shelving units we've been given in the past don't and they also are already so pre-decorated that I don't have to go in and place all the items myself which is much referable. I like how that corridor has actually ended up being like a space now rather than just oh here's a shoe rack and here's a coat rack. It feels more like an entrance way rather than just this awkward little space and I'm so glad that I changed that paint as well because it was just really letting down the space quite a lot. I wish that I'd been able to fit this table in the corner at more of an angle but I don't think it would actually be usable and I would prefer for it to be usable than just look good so I left it kind of square on the window there. As we go into designing the kitchen here, um, I think I've had some issues with my recording and it's glitching out a little bit so apologies there. This is actually the second video I've recorded today because uh, the first one I did I recorded an hour of and it uh, wouldn't save properly and even the retrievable file wasn't usable so Unfortunately, I'm just going to upload this with the glitch regardless, but I really like the color of her kitchen and I added in those plants at the back, which is a bit of a weird decision, um, but I like it there anyway. And I think it goes with the rest of the ideas in the space and ties it all in with kind of this different kind of look that Penny's going for in her apartment. She wants it to be different. She's trying to be original and have things be quirky. Every time that little corruption type glitch pops up, I'm just really hoping that when I export it, it's not in it. And then you guys won't see it at all and I just had to put up with it. So here are our screenshots. I think we definitely all can agree that there's a remarkable improvement between uh, point A and point B here. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I definitely think this is more representative of her character and how she would want to design her home. And at the very least now, she has more than one chair at her dining table. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please subscribe for more Sims content and I hope you have a great day.